The fourth step, uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank you. And today we have uh, had our session at the National Bunge la Mwananchi, and we have unanimously reject the extension of term limit from five years to seven years. And instead, we have told our leaders to focus on economic uh, uh, policies which can uplift the living standard of the Kenyan people. We have the Big Four agenda, which are very crucial, and we urge leaders to fully implement the Big Four agenda, to implement fully the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, which are intertwined with Kenya's Vision 2030. Our leaders must focus in serving the people of Kenya. The KRA must work hand in hand to ensure that there is no pilfering in misuse of public funds. The, the members of parliament must ensure that they pass laws which are very fair so that this nation can move ahead. Security issues, no Kenyans will die. Agriculture, farmers should be applied with subsidized fertilizer so that there is a, a, a enormous, so that there is surplus production of food. Our nation should not die of anger. People should not die of anger. Education should be affordable to all Kenyans' people. We remember Mwai Kibaki and Kijana Wamalwa made us to go to school. And that is what we want to, 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 to feel now. I celebrate them because without them, I could have not even been speaking English. And for that matter, I congratulate my, Mwai Kibaki for coming with the free primary education program, which really helped us and took us even to secondary school. And finally, we went to university. With those few remarks, may I take this opportunity to urge the president to focus on serving the people of Kenya and ensuring that those big four agenda and the bottom-up economic uh, transformation agenda is fully implemented to the core. Those few remarks, thank you very much. And that is the stand of Bungela Wanaichi. When we talk about punitive laws and bazo, Duguzangu Hamba Hamna Habari, Mkoloni Aliweka Sharia Zakupanda Majani Chai, Akaweka Sharia Zakupanda Kahawa, Akapaka Sharia Zakupanda Pareto. Na akaweka sheria yoyote ile ingekaribia mahali alikuwa na interest zake. Sasa hivi nikimalizia. Sasa hivi nikimalizia. Nikimalizia. Mkoloni ambao tuko naye sasa anapitisha sheria ambazo zinatuguza sisi. Wakati mama walikuwa wanapigania kupunguza hali ya maisha, kupunguza ujinga kwa sababu ya tupata elimu wengine wamehakikisha hata watoto hawatasoma wengine wakasema tupunguze jana umaskini wengine wamekuja na sheria za kuhakikisha umaskini umekuwa sugu na hiyo itakuwa bottom up na ikiwa bottom up haki ya mama waisha itapanda na ikipanda tutarajia nini nikimalizia bado hii taembea tu sitakosa kuongea Na hii naongea kwa sababu ya mtoto ambaye yako hapa ambaye haelewi kwamba Jomo Kenyatta International Airport ilikuwa embakasi kama una ukabila kama una una mawazo finyo na tasa watu ambao walikuwa wanakamatwa wakati wa zama za mao mao walikuwa wanapelekwa pale kufanya kibarua bila mshahara na waliokufa roho zao walikuwa wanaachwa mili zao inatapaka na mpaka wale if you don't believe na mambo ya kasi you want to you you are cast oh what do you young man who has got to serve this nation to those stupid bugs who are coming all the way just for peanuts just for your stomach. Who oh, went to you with your stomach? Each me pigani wa na watu wa mekufa. I wanja wa JKA. Na sema wazi. Ni 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 wanja ambao ni waichi. Niki Malaysia. Niki Malaysia. Na so te tuwe wazalendo. Na hiyo bi. Hiyo ya miakatani. Ni vizuri kae hiyo miaka tano kwa sababu miaka mbili tu inakuwa ya siasa. Miaka mitatu angalau hiyo ya kazi ambao tutangangana huku chini tukipambana na hawa bunge. Ama kumalizia hiyo bunge la Senate hata hizo zingine. Thank you, Thank you so much. I appreciate you
Kujaga hapa ku, ku debate. Yeah. It, is, it is therapeutic and it shows the support and the love that you have for our country. And uh, tunaenda mahali, hata ikiwa kuna unakana kama hakuna mahali tunaenda, tunaenda, tunaenda mahali. Uh, you, unajua mimi siyogeagi mamogungi sana. So one of the things that I only want to say is that like, just like uh, Martin Luther King said, I also have a dream for this country. And my dream for this country, it is a time when time will come where whether we shall not look at whether somebody is a Ruo, is a Kikuyu, is a Meru, but we, are, we shall look for the performance. What Kenya needs today, it is not politician, it is performance. Uyo mama ameka, ametoka hapa, amesema, kuna maneno amesema sitai kukurudia as a man of God. But I want to say this, I, my dream is that we shall have performance. People who will be accountable. Ati, ati auditor general wakieda hapo, anakuna, anakuta hakuna shirigi ata moja ya huma ibekotea. And that is my dream. A dream where we shall not have uh, those uh, tribal barriers. Na hii mabo ya tribes ama tribal barriers, ni kitu wanasiasa wameweka. Na wamejua, and they have been praying along, along, along those lines. So it is for, that time for us to start breaking those barriers. Wacha kuona yuda mtu mingine kwa sababu ya metoka pada hile gine kama ni enemy. No, we are supposed to be one Kenya. Na hakuna mtu atakunya kutekenezea Kenya. We are not waiting for Ugandans to come. Or, or Wadis, or Tanzanian. Ni sisi wenyewe tukai chini tuseme the Kenya that we want. And that is my dream. Simundipigia kama kofi kamoja. Thank you very much. Yako ni kutuombea. Asanti. Hii mengine wajana. Asanti. <laughs> Mimi sina maneno mingi. Yangu very simple. Narudia. If at all it has to be it is up to us. Na sisi kama wananchi wa tukufu ambao tunapata nafasi kujumuika hapa. I think we are better placed to propagate this information hata kwa wale ambao wakuji sema kama hizi. Because without that we are making noise. Idiots are electing idiots to go and represent their progressive ideas. How, how now? Let us be factual of how we do things. Mimi yangu ni raisi. The moment atuta rekebisha our bad manners, hii mengine ni story. Kwa sababu, the truth be told, kama tumekua na buwana speaker hapa for two years, na ujakua na mimi for two years, imefika wakati wakuchagwana, Nimekuja na fesa kumliko. Then you look at me, ye unasema ana kitu. Are you going anywhere? Mkisha ni chagua, do you, do you understand what I believe in? Because atuja kwa pamoja. So the moment atuta rekebisha hiyo, tuendele kupiga story. When I'm coming to mambo ya devolve funds, kujaribu kuongeza fesa mbazo zinarudi mashinani. Gentlemen, kwa wale wamekoma kama mimi, Iyo ni akili moja usijaribu kupinga even one minute. Ama I'm really challenged by my senior brother NRM. Kwa sababu, some of these things tunapata kwa katiba, aziku, aziku jileta pekeza, peke yao. They were brought there na kulikuwa na sababu. If governor uh, Gladys Wanga, ameshindwa kwa account for the money that has been devolved in Omaki, it is my role of moral authority na wale wengine amba anawakilisha kumuliza waya pesa yetu mepeleka wapi. Badala ya to insist pesa ibaki huka amba also cannot be accounted. Kuliza wanga ni raisi kuliko kuliza rutu. So mimi nasema kama inawezekana ata hiyo 40% ni kidogo. Wangeweka 80% 20% ibaki to the national government. And that one is also alluded to mambo ya CDF. Wengine wetu tunaongea, tunaangalia tu ile, tunarizo ni wabunge wanakula. Lakini ile kazi imefanywa pale ya tuangalia. So wewe ka uke wacha mbunge wako anakula, usiseme tusiongezwe. We wacha tumuongeze, haendele kukula ukinyamaza. I think we are good to go. Pesa yongezwe mashinani, kazi uendele vile inatakika. On term limits, gentlemen. I always concur with Raila Molo Dinga 100%. But kama hii pia, ata support kwa sababu wanailewana na mwishmi wa rais, I'm not there. Even though we say, they'll have their way, but we love our say. But on this, 
I don't think they are going through. Kwa wale bado wachanga awaelewi. Wakati wa M1 President Moi. <coughs> hii kitu ilikuwa inarushwa kila wakati. Kama si Sarif Nasir ni yule alikuwa anatoka Mulu Mutisia. Eh? Kama si Olenti Mama unaenda kwa nani kama si Mulu Mutisia unaenda kwa Anti Mama. Unanielewa? Na kama si hiyo utapata JJ Kamodo. A people who believes everything will just go the wrong way. I always believe in one thing. Precision is very important in anything mtu anafanya. The shortest the time, you uta validate perfection. I don't think ile viga unakimbia nayo 90 minutes kama wewe ni mchezaji wa mpira is the same kama viga ya mwenye anakimbia 15 minutes. What mheshimiwa Ruto and his people who are in elective offices now should be yearning for is to deliver within the time limit they are given by the constitution. And they go. Mimi hiyo ndiyo nafsi yangu inaniambia. Because ukishindwa ku perform na five years, what are you going to do with the seven? Ni nini hiyo? And believe me you, it is not about elective offices, the devolve elective units. It is about the presidency. Hizi mengine wanapewa tu ndio wapapatikie hiyo kitu ipite. But I thank God the drafters of the 2010 constitution were very categorical. If you want to touch it, take it to the referendum. Now, gentlemen, I overheard my colleagues saying there are things we should not discuss. These things are the things we should discuss. Because of people in Yadili, kuna yule mwingida shuguliki hata yuwa. Kama uliwai ku participate in the 2010, the Kilifi draft. Ile tulikuwa tunasema the Wako draft. Sisi kama wenye tulikuwa tunapiga hiyo siyasa. And our Mori, hata hii kuwa iti hiyo katiba hili, was so bad. Our Mori was, Raila was in the other side. So we wanted to disapprove Kibaki. And our, our clause was very simple. Huh? Because it was saying, abortion is not accepted. In Sipokuwa, we were using the right of Sipokuwa. In law, ukisha peana muanya, then mutu anatumia hiyo muanya, utekeleza yale maubu wabaye takika. So hiyo ndiyo tulikuwa tunatumia kuuza hiyo. Na hizo ndiyo badhi tulitumia kuangusha kilifi draft. That is 205. <coughs> so gentlemen, on funds, hata wakitaka kupeleka yote, let them devolve these funds. And gentlemen, whenever session or a new policy paper is brought by the government, let us interrogate those policies. To see what to tunatupa kila kitu from the, from the word go. Because at any given time, hata hiyo mbofu, kuna vipenge hapo ndani ambazo ni mzuri. Ni mzuri. So, kwa wale watapata nafasi kuenda public participation. Mimi naomba, tujumuike pale. We give them our mind. Even though such for us, watakuwa nakuja kama tayari wa program. But hata wa kiprogram, tukienda hapo tutariku. Tunailewana? Tukienda thatu, tutasaidiana. Otherwise, ukisema tu, tusionge, tusionge, tusionge. Sileo, gachagwa menyolewa na wembe bila maji. Jana, gachagwa huya linyoa uru bila maji. Sileo menyolewa. Nani amesema wea uta nyolewa kesho? So mengine lazima tusuhie kabla zijaanshe, haija zijaanshishwa. That's my take, wana speaker. Na mimi nasema, wana speaker, I did say it here, lakini sikuona muna kuatilia. For the last dispensation of bunge, for the last two ones, tumepata nafasi, bunge tumebaki kuongea hapa na inaisha hapa. The only model you've changed, ni kwamba, at least the debate is constructive, na vile vile, atufanyi press ya vipindi, ya kutafuta pesa. But ningeomba kweshima, you have brilliant minds here. Like, iyo, iyo nini, iyo public participation. Bunge la wanaichi, wanajukumu ya kutoa memorandum on their position on public participation. Kando ya sisi kuenda pale as individuals, but we have to present our nini? Our memorandum kama bunge msimamo yetu ni nini? Na hiyo memorandum tuki nini? Deal na the media memorandum yetu yende. Kueka script kwa gazeti doesn't cost anything. We can do it. So that ijulikane our position ni hii. 
na ikiwezekana gentlemen through the ab office mimi naomba mjipange we are viable members like we are very eloquent and standard guys here wakitumwa kwa media one of the night waende wachanganue hiyo waende wakutane na wale wanajifanya and you see they are landed yes but kuuza uongo ni ngumu my friend hata kama we ni waru uwekwe na mtu mwerevu ana phd lakini hata kuuza uongo hapo anaoga thank you thank you very much our chief